This video will look at a new feature in the Tokyo release, which is show or hide system and user generated emails in the activity stream filter. So prior to Tokyo, uh, if you went into an incident or really any uh, record that would have uh, emails associated with it, um, you could only filter out, uh, there was only the option for send receive emails right, as a, as a group. So if you wanted to see all emails uh, sent from or to this record, uh, you could do that. Um, but you didn't have a choice to, to filter it down. So the problem I often ran into in the past was, well, my users want to see emails, but only emails they sent or that were received from the, uh, from the, from the caller or from the end user. Uh, and they don't want to see all of the automatically generated uh, notification emails. Uh, but the problem was the activity uh, formatter was cluttered up with, with all those emails. So it was hard to kind of get what was important. So that's changed now. Um, as you can see, I'm in an incident here. And I have a, uh, here's an email from the caller, David Miller, that was received here. Uh, and then here's another email that was sent. Uh, automatically from ServiceNow as a as a notification. Uh, so these are both shown right now, but I can go into post types and I can uncheck uh, emails auto-generated. And that will hide all of my notification emails. So it gets rid of all that clutter and we can only see the actual correspondence emails. Likewise, if you want to, you can only check the uh, auto-generated and, uh, and see those. Uh, why you do that, I'm not sure, but uh, some folks, uh, it's always a use case. Uh, this works in the workspace as well as in the core UI. If you go here, you have the same options, emails, auto-generated, and emails, uh, correspondence. So kudos to ServiceNow for uh, fixing that or for enhancing that because that's something that always bothered me, and uh, the product is much better as a result of this feature. Thanks.